Billy from West Chase has a question about a leaky door. Yeah, this is um, the track of his nine-foot do sliding door, Tom. You can see that yep. it's, it's looking a little rustic. That's because Billy says the <laughs> yes. door has no overhang on the outside, and rain runs down the sliding portion, drains off through the weep holes in the track. But when it rains a lot, the track's overwhelmed, and gradually it starts collecting in the track, and then eventually it spills to the carpet or the baseboard, which obviously becomes a problem. Uh, the drain holes are not clogged. The track is free of debris. The door works just fine. There are no obstructions on it. So is there a way, he wonders, to stop the water from collecting in that track, Tom? No, there's not. And, and this is a issue that happens a lot, especially with the sliding glass doors, but with a lot of doors. We get a lot of questions about doors that are rotting, doors that are leaking. Doors are not meant to be exposed to the weather that way. They're meant to have overhangs. They're meant to be in alcoves. They're meant to be under porch uh, areas. That's what doors need protection to. And this door is, let's face it, it's older. And uh, it's, it's just, we have those heavy rains and you're not going to be able to stop it. Uh, short of putting in a new, very upgraded uh, door that can handle like hurricane the winds and stuff that okayed by the, the Texas windstorm that handles the leaks and things. But usually they're not sliders. Usually they're going to be uh, they're going to be swinging doors. So I'm not sure what to tell you on this. I have a feeling it's always been an inherent problem. If we get the rains from the right direction and the heavy rains, depending what it's coming from, and when you have an unprotected door, I don't know if you ever thought about maybe putting a protection over it, but that would be the best way to solve this problem. Because and you can tell by the question, Charlie, he knows what the problem is. It's an unprotected door. Uh, it can only handle so much water. Those tracks are only at the most three quarters of an inch thick. Mm -hmm. It's not going to handle a lot of water. And with the water coming down like we have in Houston and the, it's trying to get out, it's impossible. And so all it's going to do is keep rotting and rotting and rotting. It's a slow thing. You don't notice it for the first five years, but it keeps getting worse and worse. Uh, so I would think a door change. I would think about changing the doors or protecting it or maybe a little bit of both on a long-term plan mm -hmm. if you really want to take care of this. Needs a little overhang out there, just enough to divert the rain from hitting the door. <clears throat> exactly. And, yeah. and, and and maybe put a patio outside or whatever. I mean, you can call Mike Ball Irrigation, and then you can call Trifection. And the, uh, there's I so got, many different I, things and directions you can go. I got another one go. for you. I got another one for you. Uh, did, we that? put a door in like this on the side of our house. Sandy decided we needed another door on the house. And, okay. Um, <laughs> And I want to tell you I something. I was, I was, I was 100% yes. against this project, right? I was like, I don't want to. Uh -huh. We're going to have to cut a brick. We're going to put a door here. I don't yeah. know. I don't like it. <laughs> I use that door as my primary entrance and exit of the house now Do since you? we put it in. But <laughs> okay. the, we had ideal roofing. Jim came out, and he, had, and he built this cute little metal kind of, uh, okay. I don't know what you call it, sash or something over it that comes out. What is that sash? What do you call it? Like an awning. It was like an yeah. awning that comes out over it, and it looks really cute. It's like it's like um, standing seam metal because he can make those custom because he has his own metal shop there where he can do this yeah, stuff. Yeah, he does. And, and it, I'm telling you, next time you're in the house, you go look at it. You're going to swear that has been there since the day the house was built. It, it, no, I'm, I'm looking forward. Next time I come over to your house, I want to see it. I yeah, didn't know so, you had done that. But that's exactly the, the right thing to do, though, is... Even if you're standing there with your keys and you're trying to get in, you want a little protection over your head. So when, when people design homes, they need to design with door protection in, in place. But I, I can't wait to see what Jim did. Maybe you can take a picture and send it to me sometime. I will. All right. You got a question? Send us pictures. Well, you much. can send us pictures. You <laughs> click on the Ask Tom. You send us yeah. pictures, videos, and all that. Tom loves see. He loves pictures. So you send them to us. He'll appreciate it. <laughs> And um, no, seriously, send us pictures because it helps us understand the problem better. Like, like with that, with that, uh, all the questions we got here. Anyway, we we do a new one of these. We post them every day at homeshowradio.com. Tom takes his time to answer seven of them a week, and we put them up. And we also put them on our Facebook page and our YouTube channel. 